This time on Building the X Set, I am going over unpacking the frame from the crate, and I'm also going to do some video of pretty much every angle you can <clears throat> on the frame. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like, uh, what the weld quality is, where all the different mount points and so forth are located. So let's get to it. So as you can see here, uh, basically I have the uh, frame now off the packing crate that X -Set builds, uh, Xmotive builds to send with it. Uh, you can see the frames out there. Uh, I also built kind of an own, my own little custom cart using some uh, some of the two by sixes from the the crate here. Uh, that'll help me basically just roll the frame around the garage for the time being. So I'll show you guys how I built that, um, as well as kind of give you a little how to here on how I actually got the frame off of the crate so basically uh there's a lot of these flat straps uh stapled down to actually cinch the frame down to the crate uh the crate's uh, very well constructed as you can see um they put a little effort into it which is which is nice to to see when you um buy a rather expensive kit to have it um actually packaged well and uh, they took the care not to have it break in shipping so uh, basically you know there's there's casters underneath these two by sixes here two up front there and then two at the back here and that allows you to basically roll the crate around uh, they aren't the best it's um, you know they're just like a harbor freight type caster but um, you know it uh, it's a lot easier than just having it um, right on the ground there so um, coming over here I basically made a little cart for the frame here that I can uh, just set the frame and roll it around. Um, what this utilizes is basically two, um, these aren't a Harbor Freight cart, they're a Milwaukee cart, but they're the same doggone thing. Uh, basically two of these larger size, um, let me see if I can get a better shot here, two of these larger size carts here, and then uh, screwing two of the two by sixes on the ends of the cart allows these points on the frame rail to to on the frame rails to rest on those two by sixes and then you can roll it around your garage basically all i did is just remove them from here and one from here bolt uh, screwed them down to that cart using the screws from the two by six and now i have a nice um you know little area here uh to keep my uh, frame on i can roll it out in the driveway while i basically go through and dismantle this and cut it up for firewood uh, so yeah, it's just a nice little thing to have if you got a couple extra, you know, they're not these Harbor Freight carts They are the larger ones. I don't remember the size probably about oh, it looks like about 14 16 inches by 24 to 30 inches are the carts that I used for that. So uh, next up here I'm basically just gonna unscrew this whole uh, Packing crate here and cut it up for some firewood but in the meantime, I'll uh, head over to the frames that's sitting outside and just kind of give you guys a, a video walking around it first so you can see all the different points and attachment points on the frame and get a better idea of what you're, what you're getting.
Okay, so now just to kind of give you guys a quick overview of the frame. I showed you guys all around the frame, every kind of angle I possibly could have. Um, you know, a few things I'm going to bring up here that I have noticed is, um, one, the, the weld quality. It is all MIG welded, um, which isn't bad. Uh, TIG would be nicer, obviously, but due to costs, uh, looks like uh, MIG welding was their choice. There's a lot of areas such as in here where I would call that a pretty shoddy weld. Um, not so bad right in here. Um, some of the straighter, flatter areas like up in here, there is actually a pretty, some pretty decent welding. But uh, yeah, overall a lot of it just is uh, pretty poor welding in my opinion. Um, from others I've talked to, they've experienced the same thing. Uh, just pretty, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what you would call it, a, a pretty kind of quick get it out the door type uh, finishes to the weld seams. But um, but they do appear to be strong and uh, welded all the way through. Um, none of the really none of the uh, visible welds are cleaned up much. Um, there is some areas where it's needed to be flat that they did uh, take a cut off or a flapper wheel to to smooth out. Um, as you can see in here, but um, there's a few spots I'm going to have to do some touch up on the welding. And uh, yeah, uh, other thing is too here to show you my, and I have addressed this with Kevin and he is, we're working on getting this corrected, but you can see my trans tunnel is very off kilter there. Um, a lot of that has to do with the floor not being completely flat. Um, as it should be in my opinion, but um, from talking to others, the flatness of the floor has nothing to do with the structural integrity of the car as it's mainly all um, goes by these two main support tubular beams there. Um, that's simply just going to be, can cause issues with mounting the seat and mounting the trans tunnel. So uh, I'm assuming a lot of the reason guys are having issues with getting their, their front trans tunnel here to mount in right is because um, it is, the rear tunnel is um, welded to the floor and the floor is not completely flat uh, as well as this piece um, doing some measurements on it. it's not quite broke in the right place it's different lengths on each side um, and that's causing uh, a fair bit of tweak to the top of the trans tunnel so anyways I uh, just want to do a quick video on this for you guys hopefully this helps some of you out that are looking to buy a kit or uh, have have questions with what the frame looks like and what you receive and yeah if you like this video or uh, like my videos please subscribe or hit like and or hit like down below i appreciate it guys thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one